Hello Glamours and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell for more upcoming DIY future videos. For this DIY request, I was asked to recreate this beautiful mirror wall decor on a friendlier budget and yes, when I seen the price, I cried myself. So let's see what I come up with. Start off, I'll be using strong foam board from Walmart and I'll be using a 20 inch hula hoop to get my circles and I'll be cutting out too. And just keep in mind that this will be a large wall mirror decor. For the remainder of this DIY, I'll be using my strongest glue sticks. Next, I'll just take one of the cutouts and I'll cover it with metallic gold contact paper and then I'll glue them both together. Next, I took a 16 inch round mirror and I glued it in the center of the board using hot glue. Once I was done, I cleaned the mirror well and I put it to the side. I'll have a complete list of all items used in the description bar below. And don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms. Next I took strong postal board and I made a stencil of a teardrop and I'll be tracing 13 and then cutting them out. Next, I'll be using clear tubing that I purchased from Home Depot, and this tubing is a lot thinner than the one I used on my previous project. Before I start applying my tubing, I'll take the tip and I'll cut it in an angle so I'll have a pointy tip, and I'll repeat the same step on the opposite end. Next, I'll start applying my tubing using hot glue, and I'll start from the pointy end of the cutout, and I'll go as close as I can to the edges, and then once I'm done, I'll cut the ends and a pointy tip as well. I'll repeat the same steps on the rest of the cutouts. I make sure the inner edges were well sealed before I start applying my glue. Once I was done, I took a all to a well ventilated area and spray painted two coats of metallic gold. Next, I'll be using clear school glue and I'll start applying this clear school glue inside each cutout and I'll spread it around using a brush. When applying the glue, apply a generous amount. Next, I'll be applying a generous amount of clear crushed glass and I'll be repeating the same steps on all 13. And for extra shimmer, I'll be applying gold glitter and I'll be repeating the same steps on the rest.
I apply two more coats of clear glue over the crushed glass with drying time in between for a better hold and I let them dry overnight. So I'll start positioning the teardrops until I'm satisfied with the placements and then I'll start gluing them on the mirror and on the edge of the board. Next, I'll be using these gold assorted gems and I'll start gluing them on the tips of each teardrop. I made sure all the gems were the same size. And to hang it up, I took a paper clip, form it into a hook, and then I glued it on. And here is the finished look. I am in love with this large wall mirror decor and it was very inexpensive to make compared to the original one. This is such a stunning mirror and the shimmering speaks for itself. I know what some of you might say, there's no lighting in this mirror, but you can add lighting if you choose to. This large mirror can be recreated in any color of your choice to fit your style and keep in mind that it's 24 inches going around. With the proper lighting and the proper placement, this wall decor will look stunning in any room in your home. Here's another DIY that I made using tubing and I have this DIY video linked below. Here's the request and mine side by side. I love them both, but leave a comment below on which one is your favorite. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this DIY as much as I enjoy making it. Now don't forget, I post new DIY videos every week. Like and share with family and friends and subscribe if you haven't. Comment if you wish. Turn on your notification bell for more upcoming future videos. I'll see you on my next DIY upload.